Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about 12 Strong and this movie came out in 2018 and stars uh, Chris Hemsworth, uh, Michael Shannon, Michael Pena, if I pronounced that correctly. And I thought this movie was pretty bad. <laughs> I just found it to be completely unengaging for 99% of it. Like the first 5 to 10 minutes that were okay. But after that point, uh, I started to fall asleep because nothing was happening, and I was just bored to tears while watching it. I didn't care about any of the characters, and the movie tries to flesh them out, and they, they're they just not interesting. There's nothing to them that just makes the experience of this movie worthwhile, or like something that you would want to watch. Like It tells us that our main character, played by Chris Hemsworth, is like inexperienced uh, like he's a captain but he hasn't been in actual combat or something and you might be thinking no that might be a little bit of an interesting angle to take the story but they don't really do anything with that it's just a thing about his character and nothing else and chris hemsworth i thought he was bad in the movie like i never believed him and uh, he had an accent that was going all over the place and I was just thinking to myself, like, what are you doing? <laughs> it's like, I, I don't believe you as a soldier. I don't believe you that you're like anything that the movie is trying to imply that you are. I just see Chris Hemsworth and that's all I see. And Michael Pena, he just played uh, Michael Pena. He didn't really bring a whole lot to it. Like, he was okay, I guess. He didn't annoy me, but... Didn't really stand out. Michael Shannon was decent. Like, I felt as though he was trying. And I would say he's the best part of the movie whenever he's on screen. Like, I feel as though, like, whenever he was on screen, he, he at least, there was something there. Like, his performance that made it somewhat watchable for me. If you're going into this movie expecting action, there is some action, but it doesn't start until like an hour through the movie and a lot of that is just boring dialogue and there's like a scene where like you're supposed to be intimidated by the villain and that just it's just pointless and can be cut out of the movie entirely and uh, like you learn nothing about the antagonists of the film or at least uh, from what I can remember I was like falling asleep while watching this movie like even the action scenes were completely dull and boring to me the special effects were bad and whenever I saw anything that uh, was an effect all I could see was an effect and a thing that was a part of the environment like in the film's universe and I was like that looks like it's a uh, made from a computer and that was kind of annoying, and this movie is uh, just over two hours long, and I do not feel so that length is justified in the slightest. And there's so many things that could be cut out, just cut out to the boring, stupid characters, cut out the stupid villain, cut out the action, cut out the forced drama, cut everything out, and let there be no movie at all. Because uh, basically nothing works about this movie, and it's boring, dull, cheesy when it comes to the music. It's just cheesy, cliched, and just exactly what you would expect. And overall, there's just nothing else to talk about. Even if I were to spoil the entire movie, you would be spoiled for nothing because nothing ever happens in the movie outside of the action. And it's exactly what you think it is. And that's all there is to it. If it looks interesting to you, then I can't even say recommend. I, I would recommend it to you because uh, <laughs> maybe you would expect like something well done about it, but no, not in this movie. It's all poorly executed and just nothing to it. Too many close shots, uh, quick cutting, and you can't really tell what's going on and I had to watch this movie at 1.5 times speed to get through it on Netflix because I was just so bored and skip this movie whenever you come across it because I feel as though it is a big waste of time and it will be two hours of your life that you're not going to get back so with all that being said I'm going to give 12 strong a 1 out of 10.
Thank you for watching my videos as always. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below you thought of 12 strong and my social media links, they will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Fully Nation and I'll see you when I get my next review up and that is going to be for Still Alice. So look forward to that, but until I get that up, thank you for watching and have a great day.